Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. My name is Susan, and we're going to have a nice uh, Hatha Yoga class today. I'm going to do it in two parts, about 30 minutes each part. All right. So the first part, we'll be sitting on the floor doing some nice stretches. We'll end in child's pose. The second part, we're going to start in mountain, go into a nice uh, standing vinyasa, standing sequence, and end up in uh, on the floor relaxing in Savasana. So if you want to do both or one or the other, it's up to you. All right. Today is June 25th. In case you wondering what day it is today. All right. Comfortable on your sit bones. Back is nice and straight. Shoulders are relaxed. Now, just always remember that um, everything we do, you know, listen to your body, respect your limitations, do what you can uh, according to where you are in your practice. If it doesn't feel good, please, you don't have to do it. And you always have room to make little adjustments in it, pretty well everything we do, so that you find a place that feels good for you, all right? So we always start our class with a couple of minutes of breathing, of pranayama, just to kind of relax and slow things down and to connect with the breath. The breathing is in through the nose, out through the nose, a nice long, full, slow breath. And always try and suspend your breath, to just hold it for a few seconds between the inhale and the exhale, all right? So just relax and do what you can, all right? Smile, enjoy yourself. Now, sitting nice and tall for our pranayama today, we're going to sit in active Gaya Mudra. Now, index finger, I want you to roll it in. So the first joint, the index finger into the joint of the finger. It's just like a tight little circle. Three fingers out, palms up. And this is imparting active knowledge. Close your eyes. Let's take a nice, long, smooth breath together. Continue on your own personal pranayama for the next two minutes. Relax the shoulders, just slow it down, just breathe. Nice, long, full, smooth breath. Inhale completely, suspend your breath, exhale fully. <clears throat> now is the time to drop your day and settle your mind and to set an intention for your practice today. Focus on any situation in your life that needs guidance from your higher self. It's time to lower the heart rate, lower our blood pressure, and lower our anxiety level. Try to find stillness in mind and body. For one more breath. And on your next exhale, I'd like you to bring your hands together. Let's rub them vigorously, activate our hand chakra. Now the hand chakra, in case you're wondering what that is, it's just a little circle right along the web in between in your hand here around the thumb. And it, it imparts manual skill and accomplishment. That's what that means, all right? Hands onto the heart center, sitting tall. Let's take a nice breath together to tune out, inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev Namo Guru Dev. One more nice long smooth breath together. Inhale. And on the exhale, I'd like you to drop three fingers, keep the index fingers together. Now, before we go any further, I just want to get back to that breath. Now, every breath you take, as long as we're together, is the same. As long as it's smooth and it's controlled. So try not to hold your breath or forget to breathe, all right? And I will try and cue you on the breathing. So when I say the next exhale or your next exhale is when I want you to move, because we always move on the exhale. So let's see if we can do this together. Sitting nice and tall, preparing for Jupiter Mudra. Take a big breath. And on the exhale, let's come up nice and slow, sitting tall and reach up as high as you can that's comfortable for you. You can reposition your arms a little lower if that feels better. Sitting tall on your sit bones, let's wake up that physical body, let's wake up that spine. Reach, breathing into Jupiter Mudra, which is good luck and expansion are activated when together focus your energies on breaking through barriers. For one more breath. On the exhale, release the hands, inhale into a gentle back bend, or just reach up to the ceiling if that feels better for you. Don't force your body. Don't be aggressive in your stretches. Take it easy. Just do what you can. 
On the next exhale, bring the arms down very, very slowly, gentle with those shoulders, hands right in front. Now from here, I'll give you a quick little demo with a couple of different ways you can do this. First of all, the hands on the floor. If you can't go any further than this, just lean forward slightly, bend the elbows, that's it. Now those of you, let me move myself out of the way, who are a little bit more flexible, if you want, you crawl your fingers and go as far as you'd like, all right? Make those little adjustments. Now here again, very important that you keep your back straight, your head is level with your spine. We're gonna hinge at the hips, all right? Ready, big breath. Exhale, you know what I mean? If you can, you can reach. So this is starting to lengthen the spine. Starting to release the muscles up and down your back, your shoulders, all right? Breathe, keep the breath going. One more breath. On the next exhale, stay low and I want you to shift your body weight. Slide your hands to the left. Now the weight's on the left thigh, right hip stays on the floor and reach. Go as far as you can. And just feel that beautiful stretch on the right side of the body from the shoulder all the way down. Like I said, if you're tight, you're not very flexible, you don't, maybe you don't have to go very far to feel it. That's okay. I don't want you to feel like you have to, like I said earlier, be aggressive. Even if you're just right here, that's fine. Relax the shoulders, keep the breath going. On the next exhale, stay low and let's shift our body weight all the way to the other side. Weights on the right thigh, left hip on the floor. And breathe. And let's wake up the left side of the body. Slowly and gently and very carefully move your body. There's no rush, it's not a race. Just relax. Now while we're here, let's release the tension we hold in our face. So I want you just to really engage the muscles. Just scrunch your face up. Squeeze all the muscles in your face as tight as you possibly can and hold it. Then let it go. Let all that tension filter through your body and sink into the ground for one more breath. And on the exhale, come back to center, moving your body slowly and come up. All right, hands on the lap. Let's roll the shoulders up, roll them out. As much as you can, forward and backward, let's start loosening things up. And as we get on in the class, every so often, roll the shoulders up. You're gonna find they're gonna get looser and looser as you start to relax, all right? And moving the shoulders around is a nice quick way to release tension into the shoulders, into the upper body, and also to increase circulation into the upper body, all right? Let's do a couple of nice gentle neck stretches now. We hold a lot of tension, and a lot of times the muscles in the neck are very tight and condensed and compressed. That means the muscles and the blood vessels are always compressed as well. So let's see if we can loosen that up. So take it easy with your neck, all right? Sitting tall, keep your hands on your lap, take a big breath. And on the exhale, just tilt it back slightly. Breathe. Releasing the throat, front of the neck, this even goes into the chest a little bit. One more breath. On the exhale, I want you to bow your head, come all the way down. Keep your back straight, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Just release, lengthen the back of the neck, the top of the cervical spine. One more breath. Exhale, bring your head up to neutral position. Preparing to look to the left, take a breath. Exhale, just turn your head to the left. Getting a nice release, a nice stretch into the right side of the neck. Going a little bit into the shoulder as well. On the next exhale, bring your head to neutral position, preparing to go to the right on the next exhale. One more breath. Exhale, center. All right, perfect. Let's do a shoulder shrug from here. Big breath. On the exhale, bring the shoulders up, and I want you to hug your ears with your shoulders. Just hug them. This is a nice way to get rid of the tension, start releasing the neck, shoulders, the upper body, upper back, on oh, the exhale, let it go, let those shoulders go, and that feels good. You can just feel the relaxation starting to settle in. Now, let's see if we can roll them out a little more. Roll them out, keep the breath going, follow the rhythm of the breath. The breath is slow and controlled, but also complete. All right, perfect. So from here, I'd like you to put the left hand on the floor beside the left knee. Now, there's three ways to do this particular stretch. Of course, I've got my little block handy as well. So I'll show you the first way. Elbow on the floor, all right? Without the hip, the opposite hip coming off the floor. If you find that's a bit too much, 
This is where our little block comes in. What it does is it just brings the floor up to you a little higher, like this. And if you don't have a block handy, just reach your hand up a little bit, bend the elbow, and you can do the same stretch. Alrighty? So left hand on the floor, or out here, or on the block, right hand on the right knee with a straight spine. Let's go, inhale, right arm up. Exhale. Now in this position here, make sure the elbow and shoulder of the right arm are lined up if the uh, shoulder, if the elbow is on the floor, of course. Right arm, nice and straight, should be lined up to the side of the body. Try not to be leaning forward or tilted back as best as you can. If you can't go any further than where you are now, don't worry about it, just relax. Now those of you who can go a little deeper, you can go a little further to the left, or if you want, you can even do this with your hand on your hip, just lengthening the right side of the body. On the next exhale, stay in this position with the right, uh, with the left arm, bring the right hand onto the right knee. On the exhale, I want you to push away on the knee, bring the right shoulder a little bit closer to the left knee. You can soften the elbow or keep the straight, doesn't matter. And let's get a stretch into that upper back. And you can feel it all the way down. And just go as far as comfortable. On the exhale, let's go to the other side. Bend, stay low, come up. All right, let's go to the other side. So if you're using your little helper block, this particular side, I'll use the block just to show you. Hand on the floor, hand on the block, or out here. Let's go, inhale, left arm up, exhale. Using the block is just a little helper. It's not cheating, there's no such thing as cheating in yoga. It's just modifying it, it's helping you, it's just making it a little bit more comfortable for you. All right, so the block is a wonderful little tool to have. On the exhale, left hand to left knee, and exhale, push away. And if you find that you get into a stretch or position that really doesn't feel good, come out of it right away, or just kind of back up a little bit. You always have room to make little adjustments so that you find the perfect place for you. You might not look exactly like I do, or the way my position I'm in, but as long as you feel comfortable, your body is lined up as best as you can. And elbow, come to center. And come up. All right, perfect. So from here, let's start loosening up those legs a little bit. Let's get into our little butterfly. All right. Now this position here, comfortable on your sit bones. Now, this one here, just being in this position, is a gentle hip opener. Also releasing, lengthening and stretching the inner thighs, the pelvic floor, the groin area, and the tight buttocks. Releasing those glutes, the tight buttocks. Now, two ways to do this particular one here. If you find sitting in this position is as far as you can go, just rest your hands on your legs. Keep your back straight. Just hang out here, relax and breathe. But if you want to go a little deeper with this one here, you can put your hands on your ankles, you can put your elbows on your knees and you can lean forward as far as you can. That's comfortable again, all right? So choose whatever's gonna work for you. Try to relax while you're, even just sitting like this, try to relax your knees, your thighs and your hips. Let it go. Always come back to the breath. The breath is there to guide you. All right, big breath. Now actually keep your back straight again. Head is level with your spine. So try not to roll your back and hunch, you know, kind of, and roll your head in. Keep it as straight as you can. On the exhale. Breathe. This is our butterfly, our bound angle pose. There's different names for some of these uh, stretches, some of the positions. So, And one more breath. On the exhale, come up, slow and gentle, perfect. We're gonna do one more from this position. This is another one to help loosen up those hips. So this is called Rock the Baby. So what I'd like you to do is take your uh, right foot, just bring it in a little bit. You don't have to tuck it into the groin or anything, just bring it in a bit. I'll show you the end result and you can kind of adjust yourself accordingly, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold on to the left knee with my left hand, I'm gonna hold on to the left foot with my right hand. Now, of course, I'm sitting nice and tall, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rock. That's it. This is called Rock the Baby. So this is a very gentle hip opener. Also releasing the muscles in the thigh, even into the pelvic floor groin area. Now, very gentle. You don't have to whip your leg around, all right? Very gentle. Slight, just a little movement is all that you really need. And ready? Let's go. Start breathing. Now, 
If this is painful, stop right away. Don't do any more if you don't need, if you don't, uh, it doesn't feel good. Now, those of you who have a little bit looser hips, if you want to rock your baby a little more, absolutely. Find a place that feels just right. Just relax, breathe, rock the baby. And let's do one more breath. And exhale, come down. All right, let's see if we can gently reconfigure our legs. Now, let's go to the other side. Bring the left foot in. Like I said, if you have to have your foot out a little bit for comfort, that's fine. Because we're going to focus on the right leg. So, right hand on right knee, left hand on the right foot here again. Rock your baby. Try to relax your shoulders. Think about how your leg feels in your hip and your thigh, your quad, your hamstring. Let it go. Just relax. Breathe. Focus on the sensations of the breath. And on the exhale, let's come down. Let's release it. Okay. Now, let's straighten those legs. So what I'm going to do here now is we're going to do a nice stretch for the legs. So, so getting the legs together, I'm going to give you two different positions. We're going to do a single leg stretch. So one way, I'm going to give you two different, uh, you can decide on which one. If you want, you can put the right foot on the cusp of the left knee or along the calf if that feels better. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on the left leg. We're going to focus on the hamstring, a nice hamstring stretch. This is also going to stretch the calf and the knee but focusing on the hamstring. Now, this is one way, both hands onto the uh, left knee, and we're just gonna lean forward. If you'd like to try a deeper stretch as well for the uh, right leg, if you can, you could do it this way, all right? And if you put your leg in this position, you're gonna get a nice little stretch for the hip flexor and your quads as well. If you wanna do it this way, you can. So choose whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna do it this way. So. Again, both hands onto the knee. Here again, keep your back straight, head level with your spine, hinging with the hips. Big breath. Exhale. Now this one here, you'll feel it, right? You're just sitting in this position, you'll feel it. Now those of you who are a little bit more flexible, you can go a little further down. If you want, you can actually grab your foot. But find a place that feels fine. Try to relax your knee and your thigh of the left leg. Let them go. They're probably tight. Breathe. Releasing the tight hamstring. This also releases the uh, sciatic nerve as well. On the exhale, come up. Now we're going to go right into a twist pose from here. So if you're in this position or if you're in this position here, I want the left hand on the right knee. Right hand behind the back. Let's go into a twist from here. Take a breath and on the exhale, look over the right shoulder. Now this is a gentle spinal twist, so don't torque your back or your neck, even if you go a little bit. If you want to go deeper, you can do it on the exhale. You can push on the knee, the right knee a little to the left. You'll go a little further or back up if you have to. And this is a nice position to work on releasing the spine, keeping it nice and flexible and agile and supple. Releasing the nerves, the blood vessels, the muscles up and down your spine. One more breath. Exhale back to center. All right, let's go to the other side. So I want you gently to unfold the right leg. Let's go to the left one now. Now the left leg, again, if you find that you want to do it this way, absolutely. If you want to try it this way, and this is a real nice rotation of the hip as well. So really working that hip socket. So. Find the place that feels good for you. I'm going to try it this way. Again, I like this position. It feels good for me. So let's try this one here. Again, back to straight. Big breath. Exhale. And one more breath. On the exhale, come up. Some of these stretches can be, feel very intense. So this particular one here, you should really feel this. This would be a dynamic or isotonic stretch. So really a lot of activity, you can really feel it. Let's go right into the twist pose. Again, right hand on the left knee, whatever position your left leg is in, same thing. Left hand behind the back, right hand on the left knee. Big breath, exhale. Back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. Let's really release that spine. And you, know, you always find one side of your body is a little easier to work with. It's a little stronger, a little more balanced, a little more flexible. That side, you might be able to go a little deeper, you know, or maybe not. 
One more breath. Exhale, back to center. All right, let's release the leg. Let's straighten that leg finally. All right, now straighten the leg, sitting nice and tall. This is our staff pose. So this is a neutral resting place, all right? Now, sitting nice and tall. Now, being aware of your posture. Sitting proud on your sit bones, back is straight, shoulders are relaxed. Legs are together, and I'd like you to point your toes. All right, so now we're gonna work on the lower part of the arm, the forearm, the wrist, the hand, and the fingers. So I want you to bring your, bring, uh, reach out with your arms. All right, open the fingers, bend at the wrist, and slightly turn out to the baby finger. Keep your back straight. We're gonna lower the arms a little bit, so we're gonna focus on the forearm, not so much the shoulder. One more breath. On the exhale, I want you to turn the hands, palms to ceiling. Now, left, right fingers on the tip of the left fingers, gently bringing it back. Releasing, lengthening, stretching, decompressing the flexor muscles. So we worked on the extensor muscles on the top, flexor muscles on the bottom of the wrist and the hand. On the next exhale, release. At this point, if you can, I want you to get your finger or your heels off the floor, if you can. That's a nice cat stretch. Exhale, release, heels on the floor, hands on the lap. Let's do a little finger exercise. Now what we're gonna do is hands on the lap. All I want you to do is just lift each finger up. That's it, all right? So sitting tall, and let's start with the thumb. Follow the breath, inhale up, exhale down. Just kind of releasing those tight fingers. It's really important to keep the fingers moving. If you have arthritis, tight, stiff fingers, do what you can. And even if the fingers don't move very much, it's so important. It lubricates the joints, releases the nerves, the blood vessels, lengthens and stretches those muscles, uncoiling the tight muscles. Once you get back up to your thumb, I want you to bring your hands up and I want you to stretch them out, lengthen those fingers, get a deep stretch in the palm of the hand. And then from here into a claw, tight claw. And if you can, let's get into a tight fist, as tight as you can. And then slowly uncoil, let them go. Let those hands go and shake them out. Just shake them out. Perfect, all right. Now, hands on the lap, roll the shoulders up, roll them up. All right, let's go down to the ankles and the lower legs. So from here, if you want, you can lean back. Keep your back straight though, rest on your hands. We're gonna do one called a plantar flexion. This is pushing the foot forward, bringing it all the way back, that's it. All right, so this is good for the lower leg muscles, but the ankle and the foot. All right, so ready? Or oh, if you'd like, you can sit with a straight spine with your hands along your hips if you prefer. Let's go. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Again. One more time. Important to release the uh, ankles, working the muscles, the foot and the toes, and relax. All right, now I want you to play piano with your toes. If you want, you can do some little circles. If you want, you can add the hands to piano and you can round the wrists. All right, so from here, let's get into our table, onto our hands and knees. Now, in my classes, I always offer um, some nice little thin padding if you need it for your knees or for your wrists. All right, you can use a thin blanket, a thin, thin pillow or a thin towel. If anything, you can always double up your mat or you can go on your fist, changes the angle of the wrist. Now, this is our table. Alignment again, ankle to knee, knee to hip, knees are hip distance apart, elbow, shoulders, wrists lined up, hands level with the spine. Let's work that spine a little more. Cat and cow, inhale up, exhale as you arch the back, chin to chest, belly button, spine. Keep going, follow the breath, inhale up. And this is lengthening the spine, releasing the upper back and the lower back. This is a wonderful stretch for your lower back. Let's do it again. Up. Cat and cow, breath in motion, meditation in motion. And bring yourself to straight, neutral spine. All right, cat and cow. Shake your hands out a little bit if you need to. Release those wrists, roll them around. And like I said, we're gonna stay in this position a little bit longer. So if your wrists are getting a little tight, Try going on your fist if you want, and that just changes the angle of the wrist. So let's work that hip a little bit more. Let's do our sunburn. So I'm gonna show you quickly. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna inhale, knee to elbow, exhale back, 
level to your back or lower is fine. This is all about mobility, range of motion of the hip. This is gonna work some abdominals as well. Ready? You don't have to touch the knee to the elbow, just bring the, the knee to the elbow. In, let's go. Inhale, right leg, exhale back. Keep going, you can work your buttocks, your glutes as well, you can feel that. One more, inhale in, and back. Down. Let's go to the other side, left leg, sunbird. Inhale, knee to elbow, exhale back. Nice and slow, slow it down, follow the rhythm of the breath. Always remember that change happens through movement and movement heals. It's so important to keep our bodies moving as best as we can. And knee on the floor. Let's prepare for child's pose. Let's take a little rest. Open the knees a little wider if you'd like. Take a breath and on the exhale, if you can, I want you to scooch back. Now make sure your head and your neck are always supported. You can rest your forehead on your stacked fist. You can rest your forehead on your block if you'd like. Anyway, on the block, on your stacked hands or on the floor. And rest. This is our child's pose balasana. It's a resting neutral and a full body stretch. So rest, time to absorb the benefit of our practice so far. And now's the time I want you to thank yourself for being here today, for taking this little bit of time to just stretch, release, re-energize, maybe just to connect with your breath, maybe just to slow things down and step away from the busyness of the outside world for a while little time for yourself, giving yourself permission to relax. No cares, no worries, no thoughts. Bringing some peace of mind, increasing emotional stability, perhaps, increasing your physical strength, whatever reason brings you here. Giving yourself the gift of yoga. And this concludes our part one of our class today. I'm going to pause and then we're going to resume with our part two, starting into mountain, getting into a nice standing flow or vinyasa and ending in savasana with a short meditation. So if you're interested, you can stay tuned. Thank you for joining me for part one.